Hey there, my name's Scott and I own a shaved ice business in Florida and I wanted to share with you uh, and compare these two shaved ice machines. This is a Swan SI-100E ice shaver and this is a great northern popcorn snow cub. And I see a lot of conversations and questions about what's the best ice shaver to get. So I'm at least compare these two different machines for you. Now, up front, there's a huge cost difference between the two. The Swan is typically a couple thousand dollars for this, whereas this is about a couple hundred dollars. They both work pretty much the same in that you put a block of ice in there or a tub of ice in there. It pushes down and it shaves the ice into the bottom um, and you get, you know, the texture of ice. I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. But a lot of questions come up as far as durability. How long are they going to last? Is this, even though it's so much less expensive, as good as that one? So let me take a couple minutes and dissect, dissect some of that for you here in this video. As far as usage, I think they're both about the same. So both of them have the same design with a big block of ice that goes in here, the spindle that spins and pushes down, and then the bottom part here underneath is where an ice uh, blade is, and so the ice is shaved on there. Um, they both have your uh, turn on one side, so you can raise and lower um, how much tension is pushed onto the ice there, and then both have an on-off switch, relatively easy to get to. Um, to open it, um, this one has a hinge door that you need to open. Now, one little safety feature that's built into the snow cub is this will not turn on while the hinge door is open. I'll have to go ahead and close it all the way, latch it in, and then it'll turn on. Whereas the snow, I'm sorry, the swan um, has this little guard that comes with. Um, you can turn this. It comes all the way out as well for cleaning, um, but you turn, and that's your shield to make sure none of the ice comes uh, out or any, anything comes out it hits you, uh, but you do not need to have that in place in order to use it. Both of them have a turn dial in order to adjust the angle of blade and the or how much of the snow that's coming off for you. Um, both are pretty easy to turn and have kind of the same function and same, uh, same way that you use them. One of the biggest questions, of course, is what is the quality of the snow that comes off? So let's uh, test on both of the machines here. First, on your Swan, I have a block of ice in here. I'll go ahead and turn it on. see there super light fluffy snow um, that comes off of the swan and then on the snow cub we'll do the same thing as well turn that on let some snow come on out and here as well the same very light fluffy snow in fact i'll put them down on the countertop right here next to each other you see they're pretty much the same consistency of the two different uh off the two different machines your biggest difference though between the two as far as durability and weight. So this Swan machine is somewhere in the neighborhood of 75 to 80 pounds. It's a very heavy, robust machine. It's strong. Everything about it, the outside of it is plastic, but everything else is iron or metal. See this frame is all a metal frame. All of your components inside of it is a big heavy motor that sits right back inside of here. Everything is built to last. So a machine like this, in fact, this machine we're looking at here, this is at least six or seven years old. It's been used tens of thousands of times. I couldn't tell you how many cups of shaved ice have come off of this thing. Um, so it's built to last and something that is, is very robust and a machine that's also quite easy to work with. Conversely, with the Snow Club, uh, Cub, again, the same plastic kind of exterior, but everything else on there is plastic and it's lighter. So this thing is probably about 20 pounds or so. Um, there's not an easy way to take it apart to do maintenance on. Yes, you can open it up, but this is not meant to be a machine that you're going to fix up and do a lot of work on. The Swan, if you have a problem with it, you can take off the housing easily and you can tune it up or put some lubricant in it to make it uh, work better for you. Whereas the Snow Cub, this is a little bit more of a disposal machine. Now, the, different, the only exception to that is both have a blade here on the bottom that it can come off very easily. You can unscrew a couple of screws and put on a new blade. You can have those sharpened to make sure that it's easier. But I've always looked at the Snow Cub as more of a beginner or a starter machine, and the Swan is more of a long-term machine in a, in a very busy shop. So I guess to sum up the two machines, both are excellent as far as the quality of snow that you're coming off. I'm always surprised to tell you the truth with the, the Snow Cub, with how much less expensive it is compared to a Swan, how good the snow is that comes off of it. So if you're getting started, you're on a budget, this is a great starter machine. However, it is not built to last. It's not something that you're going to have for many, many years or decades. At some point, it's going to wear out and break. In fact, that's kind of what happened with us. We bought a Snow Cub. Um, down at the bottom, one of the blades broke pretty quickly uh, as our shop got busier. And so at that point, we had saved up enough and we were ready to invest into the Swan. We got actually two Swans because um, that's how busy our shop is. So this is a great way to get started. And then the Swan is more of something that's going to be there for a really long time. Now, the exception to that, we use this snow cub quite a bit at events. So instead of taking our trailer or, or, um, or bringing a bunch of equipment out to an event, we'll bring the snow cub because it's much lighter to carry than the Swan. Um, it'll keep up. It's, as you saw, it shaves pretty quick. 
and it's much easier to transport as compared to the Swan when you're going to events and different things like that. So overall, they're both really good machines. It kind of just depends on where you're at with your business. If you're getting started, you're on a budget, start with the Snow Cub and then move your way up to something like the Swan. If you're ready to kind of jump all in and you're gonna have a busier shop, then go straight with the Swan from day one. But overall, they're both really good quality machines.